Hi, my name is Melissa and I'm a fourth year student studying primary education. I recently just com completed my uh, first week of the arts intensive. Uh, to me, I believe that it's extremely important for me to develop skills in all subjects and areas. Um, and it's sometimes misinterpreted that arts isn't um, a subject that is as good as core subjects as such. And I disagree with that as I believe that arts is one of the best subjects possible because you can integrate it into any subject and it gives children the chance to learn in different forms. Um, so my experience, I've been to 11 primary schools, uh, sorry, 11 schools altogether, um, ranging from agriculture, um, independent, private, public, um, boarding schools. So I've had a lot of experience in all of them. Um, and I think that all of these schools have given me the opportunity to have an open mind and see how other schools perform. So dance, um, I've been, as I've said, I've been to a lot of schools. So in some schools, dance was emphasised more than others. Um, and I have previously done some hip hop dancing, but I didn't feel confident. And I think that's what, um, I lacked when I was at school, the confidence, and um, I've also been involved with just dancing when going out and weddings, um, I've been to Italian weddings and cultural dancing. dancing. Oh. 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 Alright, so drama, um, it's a subject that I've always had a lot of passion for and a lot of confidence. Um, so I lacked a lot of confidence in most subjects and drama actually allowed me to express myself. I completed drama until year 11 and when I was in primary school I actually had a strong desire to be a actor and um, yeah I'm very passionate about it. Art. Uh, it was a subject that I had the least experience in um, at school. Um, when I reflect on media arts, I can't remember anything direct, like any direct lessons as such. Um, but once I went to the lecture and I went to the arts intensive, I realised that it's in my everyday living and that it is around me. Um, so yeah, there's the three components, which is media, digital and media art. Uh, so my experience in music has ranged. I've um, had music in every school I've gone to. I've been in the choir in year seven. I also played the xylophone, recorder, uh, the keyboard. Um, so I've always loved music and I'm very passionate about it. I just didn't know where, how to go about it. But after the intensive course, I now have the confidence and the resources to be able to teach it adequately. So visual arts was always a big part of my education. Uh, we had two lessons per week, 40 minutes each. Um, a lot of, I learned a lot of techniques through visual arts and the different types of visual arts that you can create. Um, I, even on weekends, and I still do now, I'll go find somewhere nice to sit and just sketch up and draw and put into practice what I've learned over the years. Overall, I value the arts deeply as I have experienced it and I've seen it firsthand how students are able to rise up to the top through confidence and being able to express themselves through the arts. As a future teacher, I'm extremely excited to be able to let these children express themselves through the arts, especially considering it can be integrated into most subjects. Um, and what I'm going to bring is passion and energy. Thank you.